Hello everybody, welcome back. Hopefully you have been enjoying the collection so far. Uh, I still have a lot to go through, so I know some of the items are getting repetitory. Um, I'll be going into smaller items, more unique items, um, some items that people just don't quite think of. But I figured I'd show off my firearms that I have. So obviously right here, we have a 1942 Russian Mosin Nagant. Is chambered in 7.62 by 54R. Uh, it's a five. Uh, I can't think right now. Five shots. And a bolt action rifle. Obviously, these were used extensively throughout World War II. Uh, a variant of it was used throughout World War One. These are very cheap rifles. If you're looking into getting um, vintage or antique firearms such as these uh, biggest thing to watch out for is a lot of these rifles were put in cosmoline i could be saying that wrong i've been fortunate this did not come in it uh, neither did my other two rifles that i'll be showing off a little bit later so i was able to pick this up at cabela's nice firing shape um, took it to the range a lot of fun so there's the markings right there as you can see it's a 1942 it was a Tula built Mosinagant, which I believe is the most common place for these to be built during the Second World War. With it being a 1942, with the information I was able to look up, this rifle more than likely saw action. Um, unfortunately, there's no way for me to look and see what battles it was in or what soldier carried it um, at the beginning of the war. Russia didn't have a lot of supplies, so sometimes they'd send their soldiers out into battle without any rifle, helmet, whatever, and you'd pick it up from the dead as you went along. All the numbers that I could find were matching on this rifle. Um, I don't know very much about these, but everything I could see matches. Obviously, your normal Mosin Nagat bolt is very hard to open especially one handed so I always keep these dummy rounds in my rifle sorry I always keep these dummy rounds in my rifle uh, my collection actually sparks a lot of conversation and I want somebody who's interested to be able to pick up the firearm obviously you know your five rules five major safety rules of firearms uh, so when somebody looks at it I want to make sure that I know for a fact this will not hurt somebody when they pick it up to look at it it is up to them to double check my stuff and make sure the rifle is clear before they do anything with it but like i said i always keep these dummy rounds in because they do spark a lot of conversation and a lot of people are interested in them i've taken this to an indoor range and when i fired it it got everybody's attention and everybody wanted to shoot it so i was kind enough to go out buy a extra couple boxes of ammo just so people could enjoy and get to shoot a historic firearm they're very common but not a lot of people get into them but they're still a lot of fun to shoot so locks like that the safety feature is very hard to set if you know anything about Mosin's you know that that's not a hundred percent what i was looking up is there was soldiers who actually killed themselves or their allies because the safety all it does is it twists and lock in place you can kind of see the groove here where it'll switch switch and lock into place here so you can't shoot but with it having a metal butt pad if you slam it down hard enough it'll actually twist the bolt or I'm sorry, it won't twist the safety, but it'll cause it to hit the firing pin and still cause the rifle to fire. So I guess if you're in a really bad situation and someone's running at you and you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat, slam it against the wall and it'll still shoot as long as there's a fresh round in there. Uh, so I mainly take this to outdoor ranges. A lot of people, like I said, want to shoot in the indoor range. I didn't mind doing it, but... I mainly like going to outdoor ranges so this is one out of my three rifles I'll be showing off I am looking for a Japanese Arasaka I 
could be saying that wrong. I've been looking into them on GunBroker a little bit, so if anybody who watches this video knows where I can find one, find information of where I can find one, uh, that would be great. All my purchases of rifles have been local. I was able to pick this one up, like I said, at Cabela's. On the cheaper end, very fun to shoot. Like I said, 1942. I'd highly recommend these if you're looking into older firearms. So, hope you all enjoyed.